Welcome back to Baxter Bell Yoga and today's mini anatomy lesson. So the first in our first video, we talked about the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton as a way of intellectually thinking about how the body's organized in terms of the bony skeleton. And today I just want to talk for a moment about what the functions of the skeleton actually are. They create, the bones of the body create a framework um, and support for many of the organs of the body. In fact, almost all the organs of the body plus all the muscles and tissues basically all wrap around and attach to some part of the skeleton. So that's the, that's the first uh, function I want to mention is that of framework and support for the human body. Secondly, the skeleton provides protection for certain areas of the body. So for instance, think about the rib cage protecting the lungs and heart that lie inside and does a very nice job of that. But more impressively is the protection that the skull gives to the brain which is inside of it. So even though there are some areas like the abdominal area where we don't get great protection for some of those organs, the super vital organs of heart, lung, and brain are much more cared for by the way that our skeleton has evolved. The third thing that the skeleton, um, uh, function that the skeleton provides for is for movement. So at our joints where we pivot by virtue of muscles contracting and relaxing, that is what creates movement and allows us to move through the world. So movement is the third function of, uh, of the skeletal system of the body. Uh, a fourth function is for some of the regulation of some of the minerals in our body. So the bones are a great depository for both calcium and phosphorus, which are not only necessary for the growth of bones, but they're important for the overall function of other cells in the body besides just those in the bones. A fifth function of the skeleton is in the production of blood cells. Both red blood cells and white blood cells that are part of our immune system are produced in some of the flat bones and long bones of the body, and those help to keep our blood supply in uh, good, uh, good levels so that we get good transportation of stuff through the body by the red blood cells and good uh, infection fighting with our white blood cells. And a lesser known function of the skeleton is that in early development, the bones of the body produce something called osteocalcin, which is a hormone that actually affects the development of the growing human brain. And that we now know that some of the cognitive function and maybe emotional balance and mood functions of the brain are influenced by the healthy growth of our bones when we're very young. So that's our, our mini anatomy lesson for today, covering some of the functions that the human skeleton uh, provides for each and every one of us. I hope you can take that into your everyday life and use that. I always feel that the more I know about my own body, the better I can take care of it over time. Until the next time, follow me on my website, BaxterBell.com. Follow me on my blog site, Yoga for Healthy Aging. And don't forget, I have longer yoga practices on the practice channel at the website, YogaU online.com. That's U with a capital U. Until the next time, namaste.